For quite a while I was looking for a casual gaming device. As a dad of two girls, two and four, there's always this time in the afternoon where you kind of play with the kids, but they also play alone. The time after work and before bedtime, they just want you to be around. Uh, this time I usually take out my phone and browse Facebook or LinkedIn, something which is completely useless and they usually get a negative perceived experience out of it, feel not accomplished at all. Instead, think it would have been nice to just play a casual game instead or draw a picture or do dishes or pretty much anything else than going down the social media train. I was looking for a device that can give me a quick gaming experience without being just for gaming either, but something that is definitely not for working, but also not only for gaming, but more on the gaming side of things than on the working side. As many others, I was very excited when the Steam Deck was announced, and then not so excited as the delivery was delayed for two to three months. I'm not a hardcore gamer, I do like to roam around in GTA 5 or play casual run and gun games or maybe some racing games. For a while I was thinking about buying a Onex Player 1S, it features enough power to play all the titles I play, I'm not after super high graphics settings in any of the games, I mean some of my games are so old I guess I could play them in max settings on those devices and the fan wouldn't even kick in. But the One X player has an Intel chip, which is notoriously problematic as it seems for gaming, and it apparently is too large if you can trust some reviews on YouTube. Then the alternative is the Aya Neo. The Aya Neo received raving reviews for the older model and they have a new model, so I decided to order one. Their website is pretty bad in my opinion, so much so I almost decided I won't order. Luckily I did though, because as you'll see in a minute. I think the Aya Neo is producing the models as the orders are coming in. I had to wait for two weeks until the support reached out to me, asking if I'm okay paying the import taxes, which I knew I had to pay anyways. Then they shipped out via DHL from Shenzhen. The package went via Hong Kong to Germany and then to Austria where I live. It took just four days and it was here. It was so fast that I believe many other platforms could improve their shipping model as well. Yeah, looking at you AliExpress with one month delivery time. It comes in a fairly small package, it's just the Aya Neo with some accessories. But who needs accessories? All I need is a gaming device. And yeah, that's what you get. The screen is like a mirror, something I'm not super a fan of. Speaking of fans, the fan is clearly audible, especially during shooters, but it's not disturbing in any and all of the environments I have been in. The device comes with a Windows 10 home installation, no updates installed. After spending the first half hour installing updates, I downloaded Steam and then spent another three hours downloading most of my games I want to play with a controller. The Aya Neo features a 1280x800 display, bright enough to make up for most of the really bad reflections. I ordered the Pro version with a Ryzen 7, 16GB of RAM and a 1TB NVMe drive. To get the full kind of handheld experience, I had to tweak a few things. First, I enabled tablet mode. Then, I deactivated the login on sleep. This means I could turn the device off and on and I would be back in the game. This doesn't work on all games though, because some are waking up as windowed mode. I'm yet to find a solution to this. I also changed the preferred Wi-Fi band to 5 GHz, because it seems the default it goes to 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band. I tried to download Aya Space, but it won't open unfortunately. But how does it play? Well, in one word, pretty awesome. I can now play all the run and gun games I like without any issues. I can play GTA 4 and all those games. I can play pretty much any of the games in my library which have a controller support. I'm still waiting for the Steam Deck and we'll see how that performs. Yes, I will also get that one, probably, maybe not, we will see. If you're still looking for a device, I do understand the price point of double the Steam Deck price is pretty steep, but is it worth it? In my opinion, yes. You get a fully functional Windows, I can plug it into my USB hub with HDMI out at home and I wouldn't even know I'm not working on my regular laptop. And I can quickly pick it up and play games, quick enough that it fits these 10 to 15 minutes in between. Okay, also, please do not subscribe, this is not a review channel. This is literally my first and probably my only review I will do on any of those devices. Also, I don't read any comments at all, so why even bother? Instead, go out 
and play some games.